Hi Capricorn, it's Elle here to do your mid-July 2018 reading. Uh, thank you for coming back, for tuning in. Um, yeah, so let's jump into it. We'll save the announcements to the end. So for some of you, uh, it looks like you might be in a situation, you might be in a relationship where somebody's giving more than the other, someone makes more money than the other someone does something or does more in a relationship someone feels like they're being used because there's a lot of you know money going just one way and and some of you guys could be being used i, I don't know but it just it looks like there's money going just one way um some of you are trying to focus on going to school um bettering your your skill set um so we get a lot of legal issues here some of you being sued either you know for money or for custody or for something of that nature um somebody fighting for custody some of you have someone that's in and out. There's a, I don't know, there's like a a fire sign energy type situation where um, this person is in and out. Someone's pregnant. You could be pregnant, someone external to you. some of you who are partner who are married you don't see eye to eye um you aren't seeing yeah you just aren't seeing eye to eye it's just um it's a bit hectic in the family unit in the family home children are highlighted in some form some matter There's promotion here at work for some of you. Okay, let's get into the cards. See what the cards have to say. All right. So we're going to start with love. Okay, so we're going to do five, no, four cards for love. Okay. Thank you for the messages. <sighs> For Capricorn, the love messages for Capricorn, true, accurate messages for Capricorn, the love messages for Capricorn. Okay. All right, career and finance for Capricorn, career and finance messages for Capricorn going on with career and finance for Capricorn. Messages of clarity, love, and light for Capricorn. Okay. Okay. All right, and additional supportive messages for Capricorn. All right, so let's jump into it. <clears throat> for love, at the bottom of the deck, we have the High Priestess. Some of you could be dealing with the Pisces. Or some of you just really need to listen to your intuition. So the high priestess comes after the magician. So you know that you're able to manifest a certain situation. Now it's time for spirit to move. It's time for you to trust spirit, trust the universe that they're bringing whatever it is you were, you were trying to manifest into fruition, into um, the physical realm. This is spirituality. So whatever was going on with you, um, you what you were doing physically, uh, saving money or doing something tangible, um, putting the energy into a certain project, 
putting money behind something, um, strategizing, um, just being emotionally invested. Now spirit says, let me take over. Let me help you further this and move it in the the right direction, in the direction that you, you want. Also, listen to your intuition. Now, you've done so much. Listen to your intuition. Um, let's see. Love the Empress. The Queen of Earth. Seven of Air. The Hangman. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Piscean person. This might be a person outside of an established relationship because we have the Queen of Earth here. This could be you, Capricorn, um, or this could be the person that you're partnered to, um, or, or your your partner. You might be even partnered to an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Sometimes this is the High Priestess is Aquarius, and then we have Pisces right here. So it looks like. There's somebody else, you know, external to your relationship, the Empress. Someone sneaking around. It could be an air sign with the Seven of Air. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You're the wife here. Um, you, you already know this. You know this. That's why you're looking at the Seven of Air. You know that um, this person is sneaking around. And if this is not your story, then you're trying to create something here. You get... You get two and then three you're trying to create stability for yourself you're trying to call in that soulmate uh ready yourself for partnership and you're you know you're making a plan of action uh to have this here um devising a plan revising something also within yourself and then you're waiting for spirit to come or you're waiting for the other shoe to drop or you're just waiting in Kind of like an animated s suspension. It's like things going on around you, but you're not really doing anything. People may even deem you boring right now, but it's like you you have done the work, the legwork on trying to manifest either a partnership, whether it be romantic, um, some tangible stability in your life, it be monetary, you, and now you're just waiting here. You're waiting for, uh, some of you are waiting for judgment, court systems. Um, you've done the work and now you just sit and you wait. You've made the plan of action. Some of you are Cap the Capricorn men. Some of you, you might have a third party. Maybe sneaking around. Could be with a Piscean person be with an air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius Capricorn women some of you may be pregnant or someone is pregnant some of you are just devising a plan to get out of Dodge just to get away from this situation let's see what career and finance the fool nice um, some of you are just going in, in a new direction, either in career, uh, going back to school. You're just embarking on something where you have a plan for it, but at the same time, you don't know exactly how it's going to turn out. And we have the Seven of Swords in reverse, okay? The Ten of, um, Ten of Pentacles, the King of Wands, the Nine of Swords. It looks kind of like relationship uh, based, but... For some of you, your stability is aligned with either a husband type figure. If I'm talking to my Capricorn women or someone who was your husband, um, yeah, you're c completely worried about your stability. The lies that they've been telling and sneaking around that they've been doing, it's being revealed here. I don't even do reversals, but this came out reversed. Um, so it looks like somebody was hiding money or trying to hide their financial status and it's going to be revealed and or because this is career and finance uh my capricorn it was possibly or is dealing with an air sign gemini libra aquarius who was lying about the whole situation they might have just been in the relationship for the money some of you your stability is um 
centered around um, a judgment, uh, alimony, child support, and which is making it's giving you heavy anxiety because it's like, okay, what if that stops or what if it doesn't come? What do I do then? You know, uh, so that's career and finance for some of you. Some of you are uh, you're coming out of the planning mode and you're going into possibly business for yourself. There is heavy anxiety here, but you're actually making the move to go into business for yourself. Uh, get out of this anxiety. Know that it's going to happen and it's going to work well for you. All right, bottom of the deck decisions yeah you got a lot of you have yeah you have some decisions to make or someone around you has decisions um it looks like you've made all your decisions you know exactly where you're going uh you might be waiting for another piece of information to make one final decision and then um yeah it's a go from there and keep the faith yeah keep the faith that this is going to work for you New exercise program. Not a source can talk about uh, your health, blood work, energy, or lack of energy, low energy, extreme pain. For some of you, the pain keeps you up at night. Um, yeah, new exercise program that'll give you some release, uh, some release and relief. You are stronger than you know. Right, you can get through whatever it is you're going through. Um, a lot of you going through a divorce, you going through legal battles, you going through health related issues. You can get through it. You can move through this. Keep the faith that it's going to turn in your favor. Okay. So um, this is the reading. I hope that it resonated with everyone who views it. But if it doesn't, check your moon and rising sign. Uh, be sure to comment below because it automatically enters you to win a five minute free reading. Even if you say hi. Or thank you or whatever uh, it automatically enters you to win a reading um, you can find me on insta go where you can ask a question or two Instagram follow me there if you're feeling moved to um, go over to my website the tarotofl.com send me an email tarotofl at gmail.com all right so know that I'm praying for you Capricorn pray for me as well take care until August